essentially what became my arena for my education was was the banks of the Schuylkill. I literally went outdoors and started walking along those banks from 30th Street Station all the way to Tinicum. You know, again, the, 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 all the, the opportunity for all of your senses to be aroused. You know, the smell of the mugwort, the, uh, the sound of industry, the, um, you know, the clamoring of trains. It's, it's, there's this industrial symphony combined with this eight acres of, of nature that is uncanny. And then you look over to your left-hand shoulder and you see the steel and glass skyline of Philadelphia, which is dazzling. I and mean, it really looks, when you look over that field of goldenrod, and then you see the skyline, it, it, looks, like, it looks like Oz. I think ultimately the, the, my, the subject matter, the main theme in my work is movement, is, is, is uh, the opportunity to move paint yes. and, be, and get to a point where uh, I'm not, I don't feel at all obligated to describe nature, to render nature, but that I come to a point where I'm so liberated, I'm so unfettered, that I am nature. And, that, and, and that's why I, over the years I've, I've moved, I've shifted from brushes to using these six inch foam paint rollers. Yes. And I like, I like them, number one, because, I mean, sort of superficially, they represent a modern tool. You know, I mean, the, the cavemen of Lascaux, the cavemen and women of Lascaux would not have been using paint rollers, you know? <laughs> but they use their hands. But they use their hands. However, the paint rollers are somehow more of a direct link to this synthetic environment that we live in, that whether we like it or not, whether you go to the, running to the Appalachian Trail to get out of the city, uh, or, the coast of Maine, or or the the South, Car you know, the the Grand Banks of of, of the Carolinas, you're you're and, and you're still going to bring that conditioning into your perception of a of a of a wilderness. I think the, you know the hardest thing about being a painter is is getting up day in and day out and having sufficient enthusiasm to sustain belief in, what, in that what you're doing is, is worthwhile and is important. What I ultimately think is really the main subject of my work is, is the opportunity to, to uh, move paint. But in a way that not only do I become like nature, not only do, does my uh, um, perception of form uh, become like nature's manner of operations, um, but that it, it relates to our, our, our common human experience of the world, of, of the surface of water, uh, of leaves fluttering in the wind. For me and for anyone who's engaged in the creative process, that it's, you're playing in a sense. It's like when you are a child and you just totally, you create your own reality.